my name is Chris Porter and this is week one day three or four of beekeeping and it's time to check on them to see if they need more fuel or food as they've been working quite diligently at building the combs and they've been using a lot of pollen petty and simple syrup uh, they're just uh, very energized in building their new home so I'm going to check on that and show some detail of the comb that they're building and replace the uh, simple surf. You might notice some smoke behind me because I have the smoker going. And again, I'll use that uh, to calm the bees uh, as I inspect the work that they're doing. So as this progresses, I have noticed that a lot of the videos show uh, beekeepers never using gloves or rarely using them, and that has to do with their comfort level. Don't know that I'm quite there yet, but I will see how that goes as I get more and more comfortable as a beekeeper. So we're gonna use a, a little smoke Hive, take the lid off. See some of them doing what they do. I've seen they've eaten quite a bit of the pollen patty at this point, and I can see the combs starting to reconnect. And one of the things I'll do is take one of them out and uh, show you. First, I'll use a little smoke. So you can probably see how the combs have been covered and how they have built them. And the bees are working quite a bit to uh, in the building of their comb and the queen laying eggs and they're covered. So uh, here's this side is they're really still working quite uh, diligently at building that comb. It's really fascinating to see how quickly they can do it and how much energy they use in the production of this comb. And I can see eggs have been inserted in there, so they really are um, doing what bees do. One of the things I'll show you is the pollen patty. And I'm going to, this pollen patty was um, quite a bigger size when they began. Uh, the pollen patty was about this size when they started about a week ago, and I had two of them in there, and they certainly have eaten quite a bit of the pollen patty. So I'm going to place the pollen patty here for them to continue to use as a fuel and energy that they need.
So again, the Paul and Patty will be placed here. And uh, we'll check on this again Sunday. We'll check on this again Sunday. The other thing I'm going to do is add the simple syrup in there. And again, they've been using about eight cups of this every three or four days. So they really have been using a lot of this energy. I can let some of them out. fascinating thing for me is how much of this they use, how quickly they use it in the course of three or four days, uh, particularly as they start building their hives. So that is uh, eight cups in the ratio, some say two to one, that is two cups of water for one cup of sugar, but I have stuck with a, a number of references that show a one-to-one, -one, one cup of water, one cup of sugar uh, as what is ideal, and it seems to be very ideal because they're using it quite uh, quickly. So I've replaced the pollen patty, uh, provided more fuel or uh, simple syrup, uh, inspected one of the frames, shown that the colonies are being, uh, the combs are being uh, quickly built. Uh, eggs are in them. They have been covered, so the queen is doing what she does. And I'm just going to uh, replace the cover, and I'm done. And again, uh, trying to avoid crushing any of the bees, although you can't stop them from moving around when you place the, the lid on them, but you try not to crush them. It's always the delicate part. Then place these in. back in there. Okay, so it's done, and uh, I will look at it again Sunday to see how progress is uh, going in week two. Um, most likely just simply replacing the um, simple serve and making sure that uh, things are moving along. I might take a peek at the lower chamber to see if they're building any combs there. That's it.